Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to create an XML sitemap automatically using Google. Now a sitemap is used by sites like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. so they can better index your blog, which means that their crawlers can go through your whole page, retrieve it more efficiently, and you're more likely to show up higher ranked on web searches. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. First of all, I'm on WordPress.org and I've looked up Google XML sitemaps and it's taken me to that plugin or as usual you can go into your plugins page on your dashboard and look up Google XML sitemap generator and click on search plugins. Right here you'll see Google XML sitemaps and I'm going to go ahead and click on install now and I'm going to click on activate plugin and I'm going to scroll down to my Google XML sitemaps. I'm going to go into my settings page and it shows that the sitemap hasn't been built and to click here to build it for the first time. Underneath it has basic options like if you want to write a normal XML file name file with your file name or write a gzipped file which is your file name plus .gz. You can choose your building mode and this will ask if you want to rebuild your sitemap if you change your content you should leave that checked just in case you forget later or you can enable manual sitemap building through a, a get request. Next you can update notifications so anytime you update your blog you can click so it'll notify Google, notify Bing, ask and it will add a sitemap URL to the virtual robots docs dot text file. Although you can't have a real robots.txt file in the blog directory, this is still a good thing to have clicked. There are also more advanced options, including whether you want to limit the number of posts in your sitemap, because it puts the newer posts first, if you want to increase your memory limit, if you want to increase the execution time, include an XSLT sheet, enable in MySQL standard mode, but this is only good if you're getting MySQL errors because it takes a lot more memory and if you want to build the sitemap in a background process so you don't have to wait when you save the post. I'm going to leave the use default and build the sitemap in background checked. Underneath that it's going to ask about additional pages and here's where you can show it if you want specific files or URLs to be included although they're not in your blog or WordPress. If you want to add a new page just click right here and fill it out. Underneath is the post priority, and this selects how the priority of the post is calculated. You can skip using this priority calculation, do it depending on the comment count, or how many average comments are on each post. Underneath, we can do an automatic detection. You can put it to a custom location, so you could choose one of those. I'm just going to leave the automatic detection, and this shows me my detected URL and my path, which is going to come in handy when you go to, say, your webmaster tools in Google or Bing. Underneath the sitemap content, you can choose everything that you want to have included, uncheck anything you don't want to have included. You can include custom taxonomies and further options. Underneath, you can choose your excluded items, including, say, categories or posts. You can change the frequency of how often your pages are going to be crawled by the web searchers. You can set your priorities, and then when you're done, click on Update Options or you can reset them all. Now, up at the top, I'm going to go ahead and click on Click Here. It's gone ahead and built my sitemap. It zipped it. It, in, it told Google and Bing about it. However, there was a problem with notifying Ask, and we can click here to find out why, and this will tell us how to fix it. On the right-hand side, it gives you more information about the plugin, and it gives you more sitemap resources. So let's say you go to Webmaster Tools, which is from Google, and you want to log in. You can go ahead, make up an account in Webmaster Tools, and you would use the sitemap in Webmaster Tools so Google could come and search your whole page. So that's a really quick, easy tool to use to generate your sitemap. And if you ever need your sitemap address, and you will, to tell it to the search engines, you simply go down here, find it, copy it, and paste it into their box. So that's how it works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you at the next one.